Hello, YouTube family. Are you ready for today? This is the week where, because the holiday, you between the holidays, you don't know what day it is. You don't know what time it is. You just go with the flow. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. It is time for the curls. It is time for the scoop. And we start off with a hug. I appreciate your comments. I'm going to ask to leave a comment. Boy, you lit him up yesterday as we talked about Whoopi and Akon and his statement on today's music. Um, when I said today's artist, I did not ever mean Beyonce or Fantasia or Patti LaBelle. They give a show. They're, they know showmanship. It's a lot of the newer artists that I'm just very disappointed in. And it's just like, ooh. How is your career going to last if you don't if you're not if you're not good at being a showman? And no, everybody ain't got to dance. Fantasia, she don't do no dancing, but she knows how to bring the house down. So I meant it in terms of that, some people. Um, but I I appreciate your comment. And we're not always gonna agree. And sometimes I'm gonna talk about your favorite artists, because no one likes their favorite artists talking about. But we're gonna do it anyway. It's not cute not knowing, and now it's time to know. Gladys Knight tonight. She is one of the honorees for the Kennedy Center Honors. This is a huge, huge one for the Empress of Soul. Gladys Knight is in good company. Actor George Clooney, the rock band U2, inspirational singer Amy Grant, and there's also an artist that's going to be honored as well. Patti LaBelle is doing the tribute. Now it airs at 8 o'clock. Wednesday night on CBS, and if you miss it, because you didn't tape it, it's going to be streaming on Paramount+. Plus. But this is such an honor for the Empress of Soul, the great music, Gladys and the Pips, Gladys and her own, just, uh, and a very nice woman. I hosted a show that she did here in Philadelphia at an amphitheater called The Dell, and she was amazing, and the love, and to see her just grace that stage. It was an incredible night. Whoopi Goldberg has apologized again to the Jewish community. I knew she would have to because they want her fired from The View. Whoopi explained it like this. She was being interviewed by a British newspaper. She said all she was doing was retelling the story of what she said. Well, you know, people get a hold of it. People start going crazy. Fire her, fire her from The View. A lot of you who left comments say you do stand with Whoopi. But Whoopi apologized and she said she has learned a lot from this situation that got her suspended. But y'all know people still going to try to cancel her. They still want her fired from The View. But Whoopi can't cancel her. And she ain't going nowhere. She'll be back on The View next week. Where the prayer cloth at? Babyface, what is going on? Why the producer, singer, incredible performer. If you've, if you've ever seen him, go to a Babyface show. He's touring with Anita Baker next year. This current situation that he is in is a little troubling. Babyface is 64, and I'm not slamming dating younger, but you got to watch their, their alternatives. Babyface is dating a 22-year-old blonde social media influencer. I saw her when they came to Philadelphia. She was a little bossy, and she was trying to direct all the pictures and stuff, and, you know, we stand in there like, we radio, we playing this records forever. We getting our pictures. She's telling everyone, all on social media, how the mega millionaire, and that's what Babyface is, is her sugar daddy. Kenneth, are we at the end of the road here? What's going on? You're, you're, you, 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 you want to be a sugar daddy? She got pictures of them all on social media. He got his tongue out. They were the Dodgers game. And that tongue was just, mm, I 
It's like, what are you doing? You know you're serious when you call somebody by their by their legal name. Kenneth. He just divorced his wife last year. They have a 12 year old. Then he was married to Tracy Edmonds and they had two sons. And then he was married before then. The woman's name is Rickalicious. Rickalicious. All these pictures of her and baby face. Did you know BET Awards early this year? She wore a white wedding dress. Babyface, if you don't go and listen to your family members. <laughs> Y'all know I wish I was his aunt too. Like, what you doing? Now, if you're going to have some fun, have some fun. Wear something, have some fun. But really, the tongue out in the pictures, you're 64. You wrote in legendary songs. <laughs> Soundtrack of our lives. And you act like this. Kenneth. Baby face, you're gonna have to do better. And he's you gonna have to, he's gonna have to be careful. We just gonna have to just send it on over to the prayer warriors. Singer Cher is saying she is not engaged. She's got a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar ring from her thirty six year old boyfriend. He says he wanted to show Cher how much he cares. She deserves the world. This is a token from my heart. Honey, if you did not buy that ring and she bought it, it's not a token from your heart. The rule, the <laughs> You'd be like, oh, look at that big diamond ring. No, it looks like a big ring with a bunch of diamonds in it. It's not a token. If she paid for it, you just gave it to her and y'all playing. Cher, be careful. I, I keep saying it. Some woman said, I'm tired of you talking about Cher. Well, you just going to get tired because I love her and she's a legend and I need her to be careful. I need Babyface to be careful because people are out here playing. We live in a different day and time. Watch what you got. Protect your heart. Paul Abdul, we know her for dancing, judging, American Idol. She's 60. And she recently got busted for doing too much with the filters. Some people get them filters and they get carried away. They don't look nothing like the filters. You see them in person and be like, Paul Abdul posted a picture. She looking like a teenager. She looked like a teenager. It's like, Harpo, who this? Who this right here? Who this? Which Paula Abdul looking like, she looked like a teenager. It's like Paula. Child, they drug her. They drug her, drug her, drug her. Because she's 60. And, you know, her body looks great. But, you know, she's starting to get a little lines in her face. Paula, the filters. Stop. Don't do too much. You want to do a little, little tweak, a little something. But not too much where you're looking like. A teenager. Rapper Coolio, we lost him in September. 59 years old. He was young, known for Gangster's Paradise. Coolio died without a will. He's got seven children. They're kind of estimating, because they're trying to get it all together, maybe he left about $300,000. Not a lot of money. If it's got to go seven ways. But they're trying to see, but he didn't leave a will. And they're going to have to split everything. We're talking property. I got some money he had in the bank. Possessions. That girlfriend, she ain't getting nothing because them kids going to get that money. More tragedy for the Marley family. We're talking about the Bob Marley family. His 31-year-old grandson, Jamerson Marley, was recently found dead in a car. Wendy Williams is looking great. She posted on social media. She's got this website set up where she's selling Wendy Williams memorabilia. And she's still talking about that podcast coming out sometime next year. Let's switch gears here. Talk football. Russell Wilson, Sierra's husband, 
He's a quarterback for the Denver Broncos. First season with the Broncos. For many years, he played with the Seattle Seahawks, but the situation got dicey and he had to get out. The Denver Broncos are having the worst season ever. It's just not good. Where's the problem? Is it the front office? Is it Russell? A lot of sports commentators are saying it's Russell because they're saying that Russell Wilson has a bad attitude. And let me tell you something. If you're a quarterback and your team don't like you, they're not going to protect you. They're not. They won't protect you. Are they deliberately losing because they don't like the leadership? Something is terribly wrong within the Denver Broncos organization because they've never been in, in, in this kind of thing. And, and Russell Wilson, he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. He really is. But this right here, <laughs> again, you got to say, Harpo, who that on that field? That ain't Russell Wilson playing like that. It's Russell Wilson playing like that. His wife, Sierra, look at me with segue, is going to be doing New Year's Rockin' Eve, the Dick Clark Rockin' Eve, along with Ryan Seacrest, Saturday, New Year's Eve on ABC. Singer Ashanti, where is Dexter? Well, he can't say nothing because he, he got married. Singer Ashanti says she is ready to slow down, get married. She's 42 years old, the Grammy Award winning singer, actress, incredible career. Is she really ready? She says that she's ready to settle down. Now, she's recently did some appearances with her former ex, Nelly. Could sparks be flying again between them? Or is it someone new that she's kept hidden that she's ready to settle down? Wouldn't it be something if it was Nelly? The best man. It is making me love Terrence Howard all over again. Because, you know, Terrence Howard, he a little different. And he does interviews where you'd be like, what are you saying, sir? What? But his character, Quentin, Quentin Spivey, this is the character that really put him on the map. Charismatic and the eyes and just, just, just the whole thing. The charm. He really is one of the best. Um, characters. He is such a shit starter. <laughs> he does love stirring the pot. But watching this has just made me appreciate Terrence Howard even more. And I bring that up because he's talking about he's retiring. Terrence, can you hang on? Give us some more great roles. Just a little bit. Viola Davis, The Woman King, has been named the best film by the Black Film Critics Circle of 2022 avatar already at the billion dollar mark and black panther 2 when it starts streaming and it's going to be soon i'm gonna let you know when it does it's going to be streaming on disney plus so if you got all these other ones mm -mm. black panther 2 will stream on disney plus either by mlk weekend it's january 15th or before valentine's day keep the comments coming i love hearing from you the interaction love it love it love it leave a comment give us a thumbs up if you like the video leave a comment even if you don't agree with a damn thing i say uh subscribe to the channel because guess what <laughs> there's always girls in school but you don't want to miss a thing thank you so much it's not cute not knowing and now you know I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.